Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, sorry. Um, where were we? Okay, let me see if I can share again. Okay. Um, so we had prone. That was the last one. And no. Guys, yeah, sorry. Can can you guys remind me? There were I think there was like one or two more words that, that I didn't explain, but I don't remember which ones they were. You guys can Self help me. Self-aware? Self-aware? No, I, I explained that one. This is the last. That one's the last one? Yes. Yeah, because, okay. All right. So I guess I explained them all then. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, self-aware is that you you are aware, you are alert of who you are. Um, and, um, you know, who you really are. Like, you're not just part, you're not just somebody that is, um, you know, in the picture, it's actually you really know, uh, you know yourself well. That's what it means. Okay. All right. Any other questions about this text? No? It's okay, teacher. You, and you guys understand measurements? You understand my ship measurements? What are measurements? You can you can tell me in Spanish. What are me measurements? Medidas. 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 Medidas en 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 el sentido de que eh, toma tomo muchas medidas, right? Eh, de voy a ajá, to, voy a ver cuántos centímetros, cuántos metros, cuántos kilómetros es, okay? No de tomar medidas de, por ejemplo, medidas de seguridad, no, no, no ese tipo de medidas. Okay. All right, perfect. So would you like to find out if you are emotionally intelligent? Would you like to know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how are we going to find out if we are emotionally intelligent or not? Well, um, so second. Okay, so to find out if you are emotionally um, intelligent or not, we have the next. Um, the next slide. So Millet lists 10 questions to ask yourself to see if you have emotional intelligence. So these are the questions. Um, first question, able to recognize what you and others are feeling. So are you able, are you able to recognize what you and others are feeling. Okay, you don't have to answer uh, yes or no, just in internally. Like, so are you, are you, can you easily identify what you're feeling or is it hard for you to identify what other, what you are feeling? Like some, maybe you, you're not sure if you're feeling sad or, or if you're mad or if you're frustrated. 
Um, and what about the other people? Is it easy for you to identify what other people are feeling too? Next, are you, do you uh, pick up on subtle emotional cues from others? So what this means is that um, the emotional cues are like um, signals, let's say signals from others, emotional signals. Are you able to pick up, like identify if they're subtle? You understand subtle? Do you understand this word subtle? No. No, teacher. Any idea? Anybody knows that word subtle? No. In Spanish, it's like a tap tap. That, that's pick on, pick up. That's pick up. Oh. That's pick up, yeah, captar. But subtle? Oh, no. Subtle means that it's very, it, it's, it's, um, it's not noticeable. It's something that's very, um, that's the word, that, that, that is very, I have a, I have the word at the tip of my tongue, um, discreet, very discreet. That's another word for it. Subtle, discreet. Okay. So in Spanish, how do you say subtle? Sutil. Sorry? Sutil. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So can you pick up, can you identify subtle emotional cues? Cues, remember cues is like signals, right? So are you able to, in other words, are you able to identify um, discrete sing emotional signals from others like those those signals that are not are not noticeable that they're just you know just a little bit maybe it could be a gesture from the face for example like maybe somebody just said, does something like this and that's it that's that's a subtle emotional cue yeah so when they, somebody goes, like, for example, they, you say to them, um, so do, do you want to go to the movies? Do you want to go see this movie? Ah, okay. The person obviously is not, they don't like it. They, they, they you know, that's a, that's a subtle emotional cue. It's, it's very short, so it's not very noticeable, but you are able to pick up on it or not. Okay, next, identify your own emotions. Okay, so are you able to identify that? Discriminate between genuine and inauthentic emotions. Okay, so what this means is like sometimes um, other people may show inauthentic emotions maybe they they're trying to sound like they are excited about something but they're really not okay so that's not genuine right so uh maybe they're like oh yeah let's do that yeah but you can hear it in their voice they're not really they're not enthusiastic about it how are you doing oh great yeah they can say they're great but does their voice sound like they're great what about their 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 face does that sound does it look like they're they're doing they're doing great or does it look like they're hiding something maybe um they're trying to pretend that they are happy next question possess a strong understanding of complex emotions and how they can change over time. So it's not just, I'm happy, I'm sad, right? We're talking about complex emotions. 
okay? So these are like emotions, like for example, being frustrated. That's a complex emotion, being frustrated, right? Um, uh, and how it changes over time, okay? Understand different and possibly contradictory blends of emotions. Okay, so we can also have emotions that are like it, they're blended. Like it's not just I'm not feeling one thing, but I'm feeling many things at the same time. And maybe they're contradictory. Like, so maybe I'm feeling... um. I'm feeling excited, but I'm scared at the same time. Yeah, so that's kind of a contradictory emotion, right? So being excited, yeah, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm scared. Like excited is something um, positive, but being scared is something negative. So it could be like a contradiction. Okay, so are you able to understand that? Um, that, that blend of emotions. Understand the causes and the consequences of different emotions. So the causes, like the origin of the emotion, where where is the emotion coming from? And the what are the consequences or the results of the emotion? Okay, are you able to understand that? Uh, understand chains okay. of emotions. Do you understand chains? And so, this... mm -hmm, exactly. And they give you a good example here, right? Um, so... They, somebody started off disappointed and then they transitioned to anger. So how can disappointment change to anger? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then we have um, um a, able to manage emotions in yourself and others. So manage. What does it mean to manage? What's another word that we can say manage? What's another word for Maybe. manage? Control. Control. Control or deal with. Sometimes you don't necessarily control, but you can deal with it. Okay. Handle. Handle. Yes, that's a good word. Handle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you able to control or handle your emotions? and other people's emotions. So sometimes I can handle my emotions, but I can't handle another person's emotions. That's too much for me. Like, it's like, I, I'm trying to figure out my emotions. I can't deal with your emotions, right? Then you, in that case, you can't be emotionally, you're not emotionally intelligent because you can't do both emotions. So it has to be like, both emotions. Can you manage both emotions, yours and the other person, and the other person's? Develop strategies that will lead to positive outcomes. Okay, so um.
Okay, so um, developing strategies okay, that will lead to positive outcomes. And they give an example here. For example, could you in an interview scenario describe a time you put an emotion on hold because it wasn't beneficial to a particular situation or a time where you managed the emotion of others to inspire or motivate them? Okay, so basically, in you, it's it's using emotions or um, or yeah, emotions or feelings, um, in a way that you can change something that maybe may not be so positive and change it to have a positive result. Okay. Does that make sense? So, so maybe the emotion was not positive. Like maybe the emotion was anger. How can I make ang how can I make that situation where I'm feeling angry change into something positive? Can I make or develop a strategy? Do we understand these questions? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is the following. I'm going to share this in, in the WhatsApp group, okay, I'm going to share what this um this power this uh slide. I'm going to share it um in the WhatsApp group, and I'm going to put you into breakout rooms, and I want you to share with your classmates what you what you what conclusion you have come to. Are you emotionally intelligent? Yes or no, according to those questions. So once you have analyzed those questions, would you consider yourself emotionally intelligent? Yes or no? And why do you answer that way? So you're going to describe, like, for example, maybe you can, you can say, well, I am I am emotionally intelligent, but I'm having trouble with, with this point. But I, in general, I think that I, I'm able to do the other points to give you an example. Or you can say, no, I'm definitely not emotionally intelligent because of this and this and this situation. Or this, this uh, I couldn't answer uh, a yes to this question. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, make sense. Okay. So I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Just a moment. Okay. Do you see the um the, the the slide that I sent to you in your group? In the WhatsApp group? No. No? Okay, maybe we just have to give it a few a few more seconds. Oh, it's not responding. Let me try this again. Okay. All right. Um, okay, you should you should have gotten it, right? 
Yes. No, yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put you right now into breakout rooms. And I want you to discuss, so not, not very long, just about five minutes. And everybody's going to have a chance to, to talk about it. Okay, here we go. I'm um, opening the rooms right now. Emerson Ana Lorena Ana Lorena Did the uh, you read it uh, uh, in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay. Um, may let let's in question to ask yourself to say if you have emotional intelligence are you able to record record able to record sign what you and order are feeling okay um i think um i will i will do the the answer the question Okay, is the uh, what do you recognize? think about the question? I think the answer is is correct. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hi. <clears throat> um. And we so, will continue. Go ahead. So, so you're just you're just discussing. According to according to those questions that we discussed before, do you consider yourself to be emotionally intelligent? Yes or no? It, it, if it was um, emotional intelligent. If you intelligent, if you are uh, emotion. If you are emotionally intelligent, yes or no? Do you understand? If yeah. I I have an emotional intelligence, yeah, about the part of, or about, about the question, the question. Are you emotionally intelligent according to the questions that we discussed? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does, yeah? Yes, okay. uh, uh, I'm thinking. Okay. 
So yes, no. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, we could uh, design mm, how do you say pensamiento? Thought. Thought. The same thought with uh, other person. And I think it's yes. But why? According to the to the questions, like why? Why do you consider yourself to be emotionally intelligent or not? Intelligent emotion. Emotionally intelligent. I'm not sure I, I think about because um, so okay do do you understand my, what I'm what I'm asking you to do uh, uh, I see the at the beginning of the uh, the question able to organize what you and others are feeling. Okay, is the, so, is the, is the question? No. Or not? Okay, Elisa. Those questions, the purpose of those questions is to be able to, for you to identify, are you an emotionally intelligent person? Yes or no? So in the group now, you say, yes, I'm emotionally intelligent or no, I'm not emotionally intelligent because, and then you say your, your reasons. Ulisse? Okay, Ulisse, for example, and, uh, um... In the three question, discriminate between genuinely and um, inautic in emotion. Uh, in this case, for example, is the emotional intelligence because it, it's important to reconnoce the, the situation in different moments. In this moment, uh, no compliment the person, it's very complicated for you, for he. In this, in this case, yes, is uh, emotional intelligence. Uh, uh, our question is analysis, uh, uh, say The emotional intelligence is applicable or not? And on the explication, right? Okay, this is, dude, does that make sense for you? Uh, okay. Does, does it make sense? I don't know how really? to say that in, in this moment. Okay, so it's, you, you don't have to say anything. You just have to talk about if you think that you are emotionally intelligent. So yes, so the, the question is, are you emotionally intelligent? And you say, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. And then explain why. That's it, only that. Yeah. Okay. Um, give me a second, please. Let's <laughs> okay. Uh, Ulises, do you uh, review the question? The WhatsApp group. I have a question. Um, uh, Hosman, have you have you and review the uh, and the uh, the screen because the reading the the question and analysis. 
Husband, have you have you given your ideas? <coughs> yeah. Have you, yeah. Okay, so you you already talked yes, about yes. yours. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, what about? Okay. All right. So we're gonna go to the main uh, to the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, teacher. Ana Lorena. There. Hello, teacher. Hi. Um. What ha What happened? I tried to enter, but always is returning me. I uh, see the configuration, but I don't found. Okay, I'm gonna. I okay, let me send you to a group then. Okay. Okay. Um. You 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 and you think ah it's not it's not real. Yeah, you can recognize for the different um actions, no? Yeah. But sometimes, yeah, yeah sometimes, but, uh, yeah. But when the when the people is uh, able to, <laughs> to I I I put clear, I put clear or 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 the people can lie. lie, yeah, lie. <laughs> or when the people is 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 an actor in in that in that situations, it's difficult. Yes, it, it, yes, it, it's difficult. No, but for this reason, in the uh, other uh, question, I say when you get to know the people, this more easy, recognize the different emotion. But you don't know these people is sometimes it's difficult because you don't know if the this emotion is um, sincer sincerely. Sincerely. Yeah, yeah, sincere. Yeah. Oh. Sincere. Uh, see, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sincere. Yeah. Sincere. But when oh. you know that the people is 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 more recent when you recognize. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, so what did you discover? Are you emotionally intelligent? Or not so much? Or maybe you discovered that you thought that you were emotionally intelligent and maybe you're not so much. Anybody want to share? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm. what? Yes, I want to share. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right, tell me. Um, if we put uh, this situation or these skills in numbers, I think I am uh, 15 to 50% in emotional intelligence. And I was to 
try to explain to Jose. Uh, for me, maybe it's easy to control my own uh, emotion, mm -hmm. uh, controlled by myself, some situation. Mm -hmm. But if I have um, a situation with other person or with other people, mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit difficult to control their emotion. Mm. Like maybe I can keep quiet and I can demonstrate uh, my emotions, mm -hmm. but I can I can do anything to or oh, I think I can do anything to try to change your own uh, emotion. If you are angry, uh, maybe I can tell you something, but doesn't help you. So. You are always angry. So for that reason, I think uh, I am a 15 of 50. Okay. All right. All right, good. Any other ideas? Uh, in my case, uh, in my case, uh, I can manage to uh, know my emotion, but it is difficult to manage the other people's emotion. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's difficult to manage Only. other people's emotions. Only. Okay. Yeah. All right. Only. Anything else that you wanna okay. All right. Um Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, um, sorry guys, I'm going to just um, quickly show you something. I know that we're almost at the end of our class, but I also we need to make up a little bit of the time that we lost when, when um, there was a power outage. So we're, just, we're not gonna go into depth, but I do want to introduce this topic to you which is the topic of the third conditional. So yesterday, actually, we were looking at a conversation. Um, it was between Mike and I forgot the other guy's name, but Mike, remember Edward. Mike? Edward, thank you. So Edward and Mike, um, they were talking. And, um, Edward was telling Mike that, you know, he's not doing so good in the company, that he needs a little bit of training. And Mike is, you know, He's he's um not taking very much responsibility. He's kind of like saying blaming everybody else, right? So this um now so basically what what Mike is saying is if things had been different in the past, I would have a different result now, or maybe a different result in the past. Okay, so. Basically, we use the third conditional to describe a situation in the past that didn't happen and to imagine its result. The result could be either um, in the past or in the present. Okay? So that's something that you have to take into account. Okay? And I'll... And I'll Write it down. So this is um. So it's it's a situation in the past that didn't happen. Let's care. Be, let's be careful about that. We're just imagining it happened, and we're imagining the results. So we're imagining that that the situation happened. And because we're imagining that that happened, then there is going to be an imaginary result. The result is not real, okay? But we're gonna imagine it. And basically, um, the way that we do this is by using the following structure. So we have if, Plus so the past part, past perfect, plus would, plus have, plus past part, past participle. That's the structure we're going to be using. 
Okay. So um, actually, I'm going to change the color. Okay, so this is the structure here. Now, can someone remind me what is the past perfect? Because if we don't remember what the past perfect is, it's gonna be difficult to do this activity. What is the structure of the past perfect? Subject. Subject. Mm -hmm. Plus auxiliary have, had. Had. Had in that case. Have or had? Had. 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 Good. Plus? A verb in verb past partner. participle. Good. Past participle. And I'm just going to put PP just for short. Okay. All right. So that's the past participle. So keep that in mind. Sorry, the past participle. Yeah. Right. Keep, keep that in mind. Okay. Um. Okay, so when we are talking about the if we that we use the if plus the past perfect, it's talking about that we're using this structure, subject plus had plus past participle. Okay, then we always use the word would, would not could, not, well, actually we could use could, but not very often. So we use would plus, plus have, uh -huh. and then the past participle. In the Okay. If you're not sure about past participles, if they're having trouble with that, I strongly suggest that you review past participles before tomorrow's class because you are not going to be able to get very far in the structure if you don't know the past participles. Okay. So I know this is not easy, especially um, when we're talking about <laughs> irregular past participles. So be careful or not not be careful, better said, it just um, keep an eye on that and, and study more if you are having trouble with past participles, okay? So that's what I'm gonna ask you guys to do before tomorrow, make sure that you have the past participles and down and you know, you are able to do this. We're gonna, we're going to analyze this in depth tomorrow. Sounds good? Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm just going to take attendance quickly. Okay, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato, Orellana. Present teacher. Wonderful. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández de Peda. Carlos Mauricio Mejibar Caballero. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Emerson Ulises Monroy Cal Calix. Present. Eulises Torres Torres. Present. Um, Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. 
O sea, Salvador Pernal Quintanilla. Oh, oh, wonderful. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, Jose Bernardo, we have uh, the one-on-one -on -one session today. Okay. Um, Postman Atilio Serrano. Uh, miss, with me? Yes. No, 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 no. Present teacher. With Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Hosman. Uh, Jos sorry, uh, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present miss. Thank you. And Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Thank you. Um, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Thank you. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Vigail Bonilla. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present, miss. Thank you. Uh, Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Irma Evelyn. Uh, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Present teacher. Okay. And that's it. All right. So that's it, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. So take care. And um, yeah. And that's it. Uh, just um, I'll stay with Jose Salvador Bernal. Okay, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night.